Juice here on Z89. Connor Green with you up on till noon. Number to call, 315-443-4487. We'll go to the phones now. We have a caller here who wants to talk about some of the top moments in SU history over the last four years. We had Syracuse lacrosse win yesterday against Colgate. How you doing? You want to talk about the top five moments you have in SU over the last four years? Let's hear it. Yeah, hey there, Connor. Phil from Mumson here. Uh, yeah, I don't know any no particular reason I was working this out, but uh, I've been uh, coming up with the, what I think is the top five moments the last four years. But I have to say, I, you know, not watching uh, any field hockey or cross country, I'm probably not giving them their just desserts or you know, whatever <laughs> yeah. because uh, they're, they're national championships. But, uh, yeah, let me give you my top five. I'll give you them in reverse order. How's that? Okay, that's fine. So okay, let's go. So, let, we'll do a countdown like David Letterman. Let's go number five. All right, number five. I've got this year's uh, Duke uh, Duke game, you know, with the last second uh, shot, winning the game, you know, in the Carrier Dome is my my fifth best moment of the last four years. The Duke game. See, that's that's a great one. And the funny thing is, I think I don't know about you, but I think that this year was almost more entertaining than the year before when they went to the Final Four because there were so many great moments, including two buzzer beaters in the regular season. And I was talking about this with a friend. Like this year was possibly more exciting outside of the NCAA tournament than last year, and that included a Final Four run. But this year was really entertaining despite not going to the NCAA tournament. I, I would agree. I, I actually even had, as one of my honorable mentions, the uh, Florida State game. Was, you know, fans storming the court, you know, big win, you know, kind of organic uh, excitement and everything. But, yeah, I definitely a lot more exciting, certainly during the regular season. Yeah, and there were, th- I think, three court stormings in the year, in the last year. There was the uh, the Florida State game, there was the Duke game, and Virginia. So three court yes. stormings, two buzzer beaters, some big wins, really entertaining year. So let's hear number four, your number four moment in the last number four years. Four. I'm going to go I'm going to go over to football. Now, I, I would say that it, it gets, kind of gets lost because, you know, you know the way the, the – the team took a downturn, but uh, honorable mention, I would say, is the Texas Bowl from you know from three four years ago. But this year, the Virginia Tech game, I think, for two reasons: not just the big win, but the whole "whose house is it?" Uh, you know, after the game speech uh, by Dino Babers, I think that that to me then ranks number four. Right, the game might have been a little bit meaningless in the grand scheme of things, but in itself, the speech in itself is really a top five moment. The game was great. You you stormed the, the field for that one. Their first top 25 win in four years. And that was almost the big building block for you know, what could end up being a big recruiting pitch for a lot of guys coming into the program is, you know, Dino Babers is a great guy to play for. And that speech in itself could recruit players. A great moment. So that's number four. Let's see your number three. Number three, Tyler Ennis beats Pittsburgh with a buzzer beater uh, to, you know, to bring the team to 24 and 0. Uh, three years ago, certainly one of the top moments of the last four years. No, that was spectacular, and that team was great. It's just a shame that they couldn't sustain that success till the end of the year. And you know, I always wonder, I never really have been able to pin down one of the reasons why that team just kind of fell apart in the, 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 the late in the season there. I think a lot of it had to come down to just shooting, but that was a great moment. That team was so fun to watch, and you know, you wonder what would have happened if Tyler Ennis had decided against going to the NBA because you could argue it really wasn't beneficial to him because he hasn't ended up being a star in the NBA. And you wonder if he would have stayed for, you know, two years, three years and developed a little bit more, what would have happened with him and maybe he would have more success moving forward into his NBA career. Absolutely. All right, let's hear number two. So number two, I'll stay with the same season. The Duke game, 35,000-plus in the Carrier Dome, big win, number one versus number four. That, to me, is the number two moment of the last four years. So you have that game above the John Gillen buzzer beater? Yeah, uh, well, I, I, above the John Gillen buzzer beater and, and, of course, above the Tyler Ernst. I think that, you know, that game, you know, the, fir- the, uh, the first, I guess, the new rivalry, ACC, you know, that, that was, and, and the record crowd in the Carrier Dome, to me, that's the number two moment of the last four years. See, I would probably agree with that, too. Even though the John Gillen buzzer beater might have been just a more exciting finish, that game was one of the best basketball games I've seen in my time watching basketball because not only was it just a close game, it was well played, both teams shot well, and even Jim Beheim, Jim Beheim, who has coached for 40-plus years now, 
after that game, talked about how that was one of the best games he's ever seen. And that was the first game of the SU-Duke rivalry and was one of the most exciting basketball games here on the Hill. So I'd probably take that game above the John Gillen buzzer beater as well because you had the novelty of it being the first SU-Duke game. Nobody really knew what to expect. You have two of the top coaches of all time. First time they're playing in ACC play, and it was spectacular. So I take that one as well. So let's hear the number one SU sports moment of the last four years. It has to be beating Virginia to go to the Final Four, the Midwest Championship, Tyrell Lydon with the block, Malachi Richardson having an awesome game. That has to be the number one moment of the last four years. Yeah, that was spectacular. And nobody thought Syracuse would make that run to the Final Four to go down by 16 points, to fall behind. Nobody had any any thoughts that they'd win that game. A lot of people, including Doug Gottlieb, thought that that Syracuse team didn't belong in the NCAA tournament in the first place, they get in. They play Virginia, a game that nobody thought they'd win. They go down by 16 points and come back and win that one, go to the Final Four. That was an unbelievable moment the last four years. And, you know, again, one of the one of the things you look at, even though they weren't successful last season, uh, you go back to two years ago. And, you know, one of the reasons why a lot of people thought they might reach the NCAA tournament is that, okay, they were on the bubble last year, and despite that, they go all the way to the Final Four, and of course, they win that big one against Virginia. Obviously, one of the best moments of the last four years, and I probably agree with you that that's got to be the SU sports moment in general over the last four seasons, despite some of the other great stuff that's gone on here with the program. Such a big win against one of the best teams in the country to go to the Final Four was huge. Yeah, absolutely. And so I think you look back on it, some big moments over the last four years for sure. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for the call. The top five SU sports moments over the last four years. Again, thank you so much for calling in. Thanks, Connor.